Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. So today we've got another monthly meal prep video. If you guys are totally new around here, I do these about every two weeks and everything that I do, you could obviously double or triple if you wanna make it for an entire month or possibly even for a large family. The reason that it works good for me for every two weeks is I have a small freezer and it just works great with my schedule to be doing it this way. And sometimes I kinda of go with the theme, sometimes it's just what we need, that sort of thing. And today's video is going to be all about breakfast. We really need to stock up on some things for breakfast and so I'm gonna be doing some waffles, some breakfast bowls and some other things that I think you guys are gonna find super delicious and inspiring for your own kitchen. As usual, I will make sure that I link all of the recipes I can below and also anything else that I might be using in the video that you may be interested in getting for yourself. A lot of the things I have in my kitchen are from Amazon, so that makes it easy for you guys to access them if you're wanting them for your kitchen. Coffee or something caffeinated is often important on these meal prep days, so make yourself a cup get a pen and paper and you can write down the ideas that you like out of this and get your meal prep day planned as well all right I think that's everything for my intro here let's get cooking the first thing that I'm gonna be making today is some raspberry um, oatmeal waffles and if you guys have watched me do this before you know that I make it with oat flour I make waffles a lot with oat flour this one's a little bit different so I'm gonna be using some gluten-free flour in the recipe it does call for regular flour so you could totally do that and then actually uses the whole oats mixed into the batter which I think is kind of a different twist and then some smashed up raspberries in it I think they're gonna be delicious I'm really excited to taste these um, we like to have the little waffles in the freezer they're just a great thing to pull out and quickly heat up as a breakfast because mornings are crazy trying to get the day started so I'm gonna go ahead and mix all of this up These are coming out perfectly. They just look so great and I actually tasted one and they're delicious. So highly recommend this recipe. I'm just reloading this up before I show you what I'm gonna be working on next. Love this little waffle iron. It does such a great job. So this is what I'm gonna be working on next and I ran across this idea on Pinterest not that long ago and I was like, that is totally genius for breakfast. So I got these little containers. They are about 16 ounce containers. So that would be like two cups per container. And I have, I think I've got six here. I'm just kind of doing a trial run on this. We've got some red potatoes, some eggs, some cream, a red pepper, some green onions, and then some cheese. So basically what you do is you make up your potatoes, you cut them up however you want to do them. You can do them in wedges or dicing them up. And then you cook them up, put them in the bottom of your bowl, put some scrambled eggs on. I have some bacon thawing out in the sink. I'm gonna fry up some bacon, kind of do some bacon bits. I'm going to saute up a little bit of pepper and onion, and then top it with shredded cheese, store them all in the freezer. Then you can pull them out and just heat them right up and you have a full course, I mean like, decadent breakfast and it's all done so quickly and you don't have to worry about actually getting everything out to make all of this every single morning so the way that I'm gonna do my potatoes is I'm actually gonna do them in the air fryer so I'm gonna cut them up get them going in there and then make up some scrambled eggs with some heavy cream salt pepper and eggs 
and um, work on sauteing this as well and then assemble the great breakfast bowls. Okay guys, the hair had to go up. You know it's getting real in the kitchen when the hair goes up. But anyways, one of my absolute favorite things, favorite things in life is coffee cake. I mean, if you're a true coffee lover, you gotta love coffee cake too, right? I mean, oh, they just so, go so good together. So I was on Pinterest the other day and I found a recipe for gluten-free coffee cake muffins, I think, either muffins or cupcakes and they have got yogurt in them. They actually look pretty healthy. I was pretty impressed with the recipe, so I'm really excited to make them and find out if they taste as good as they sound. They sound absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna get all of my ingredients out, and we're gonna get rolling on that next. Okay, so. This recipe takes oat flour, and oat flour is just basically oatmeal put in the blender and blended up. I think you can actually buy it, but that's all it is. So I'm going to be putting some oatmeal in the blender to blend it all up, and then she suggests to use either, I think, coconut sugar or brown sugar. I'm actually gonna use Swerve, so then it doesn't have any added sugar in it, and this is like a sugar replacement. I do try to eat a lot of things with less sugar in it, or keto type things. So I'm going to use this instead. Also, I will see if this blender is back in stock. It's been out of stock for a long time, and so I keep an eye out on it because you guys ask me a lot. And it's a really great deal for a blender that's like the same power as Vitamix. Actually, I think it might have a little more power than Vitamix. Um, and I also do, I'm trying to do my best to link a lot of my kitchen stuff in the description box or on my Amazon shop. So be sure to check that out below because I get so many questions on where things are from or where they can, where people can find them, and that's where you can find them.
I've got my batter ready and I got these out and funny enough you guys I almost went and bought a muffin pan to make this recipe because I totally forgot I had these so um, these are off of Amazon also I know I'm kind of on an Amazon kick today but a lot of stuff from my kitchen is from Amazon anyways these are muffin silicone cups and you don't even need a pan. You can just lay these out on a cookie sheet. It actually kind of is a good storage space saver. Um, plus, I think that these work so much better because you can pop the muffin right out of them generally. And you don't have like nasty stuff stuck in a muffin pan. So I'm going to put these, um, put the batter in here and put them in the oven. And thank goodness I didn't go buy a muffin pan whenever I already had what I needed. Okay guys, so if you caught my last monthly meal prep video, I think it was my monthly meal prep video, pretty sure. It was the one that I did a lot of stuff for lunches. You remember that I made those Philly cheesesteak wraps on those wraps from Aldi? Well, guess what? They are super, super good. So I actually got the other kind. The first kind I had used, I think, was the red pepper wraps or red pepper hummus, something like that wraps. These are just the regular ones, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to make up with them. If you're an Aldi shopper, I highly recommend these. I hope they keep carrying them because I'm going to be using them for a lot of stuff. So they only have seven net carbs. The red pepper hummus ones have the seven net carbs as well, and they have 12 grams of protein. They're really great, and they're six in a pack, so I'm going to be making six of these up, and I'm going to just make some pretty simple breakfast burritos. I love them and the girls really love them. If we are out and about, that's usually what I get them for breakfast is I grab a fast food breakfast burrito and I'm sure this is a much healthier version than that. So if I can pull them out of the freezer and heat them up before we run out the door, that's definitely a better option. So what I'm gonna do today is some pork sausage. I'm going to throw this in the frying pan and just kind of scramble it all up. And then I'm going to also have some diced up bell pepper. And then I have some green onions here that are kind of on their last leg, but I think if I get them out and wash them up and cut them up really fine, they'll be really great in this as well. And then I have some shredded cheddar cheese or I'm going to shred this up. And I'm going to do eggs with some heavy cream to make them fluffy. They're going to be really great wraps. In fact, I may also put a skim of mayo inside the wrap just so that they're not too dry and whenever you heat them up out of the freezer, they'll be nice and moist inside.
this may or may not be my second one of these, but these are so incredibly good. The next thing that we're making is some baked oatmeal, but with a real twist to it. So it's carrot cake baked oatmeal. And I am tweaking this recipe around because it is vegan. So if you click on the link below for this recipe, it's gonna be vegan. But instead of using the flax meal eggs um, version, I'm using regular eggs. And then I think she has walnuts in it, but I'm gonna actually use some pecans that I have on hand. And um, instead of the maple syrup, I'm going to use some of my Swerve. Another little note I wanted to make, I think I've mentioned this before, but you do not need fancy stuff to cook. This mixer and the, the little paddles I have for it, I have had since I was a teenager. Um, so long, long time. <laughs> um, and it is from a thrift store and it's heavy and it's old, but it's got a lot of power and it works great and I use it all the time. So I think I might have paid four or five dollars for it at a thrift store. So you don't need fancy stuff. You can definitely use simple stuff like that. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to make that side note. So let's get rolling on making some carrot cake baked oatmeal. Okay guys, thanks so much for cooking with me today and I hope this gave you some breakfast ideas. I know this gets my freezer nice and stocked up with breakfast stuff. We really needed it, we were totally out of this stuff. And if you're new around here, I'd love it if you subscribed and joined my channel. I do lots of cooking and meal prepping and meal planning and kitchen and lots of cooking related things. So. I'd love it if you joined me here. Don't forget to leave a comment. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next video.